people are different. There are some who love to be on stage, they love to give autographs, they love to be loved by other people and so on and so on. Uh, I'm not belonging to this category, I'm different. They are born, I, every, everything, I, I never said you have to do this or that because I'm your father. I try to explain why and, it, and try to, to, to make them understand that it makes sense like this and it, it's not my invention, it, it was my, my, my parents told it to me and their parents and so on and so on and there are rules which has to be kept and I have a brilliant relationship with them. So, because so, I'm not only the, their father, I'm also like, like a friend, which is very important. is that there's no mystery so it's um, maybe the most earthy Enigma album because uh, before I started I wanted to make pop song oriented album in Enigma style and um, it was a little bit complicated but uh, at the end I'm very happy with the result and I would say what came out is a kind of say sophisticated pop music <laughs> Same procedure like after every album, if I can still keep this level high, there will be an Enigma 6, but I never know it. But it's my beloved baby, so I think um, there will be some more Enigma albums. It's true that after, after, after the, um, the best of with Love, Centrality and Devotion, I said this is like uh, the end of the first phase or first cycle or however you want to call it. And I wasn't sure if I will do another Enigma album because it's the same problem after every record where I say if I don't have the good ideas or to keep this strange level what I... Uh, because I established the standard by myself, so if I can't uh, compete with myself anymore, so there won't be any other Enigma album. But I wanted, I wanted to do a new one, and but the decision was was done before I started that it has to be, in many ways, different from everything what what was before, without uh, 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 denying the signature, so that it's still an Enigma album. So. Yeah, then I started to work on it and mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the final result. The mystery is that there's no mystery. So it's um, maybe the most earthy Enigma album because uh, before I started I wanted to make pop song oriented album in Enigma style. And um, it was a little bit complicated, but uh, at the end, I'm very happy with the result, and I would say what came out is a kind of, say, sophisticated pop music. It's different, say, from the, the, the quintessence of the material is, dif is different. And you see, because this time there are really 11 songs, and I wanted that each one is completely different to the other one, so it's not the smooth and very gentle uh, floating from one atmosphere to the other how it was in the past, so it's really radical breaks and this and that. And I wanted to make that also the, one of the meanings of uh, the title Voyageur. It's because it's like a voyage into music styles, interpreted in, say, in Enigma's language. 
but um, I never denied pop music because pop music, I mean, is, is the base of everything. But the other records, they were more and more, more, say, scientific <laughs> and they're more influenced by classic music than this one. And also on this new record, there are not, no samples at all. It's everything uh, done by ourselves. So no, no elements as, uh, how the Germans say, leitmotiv of an album. Because it's a trip, it's, it's a voyage uh, into, into music uh, and, and, and also it, it's, it's uh, say the lyrics are more daily life, daily life things, but okay, a little bit, a little bit uh, sophisticated thoughts are always uh, behind, but it's say the, and it's a light album, I would say it's, it's very fresh and, and, and compared to the last ones, if after the first album maybe it's the lightest one. Uh, what I did, but I, I was in the mood to do something as simple as possible, not too complicated, even if it's complicated at the end, but <laughs> less complicated than it should be, and that it could be. The recording time. The recording time was, was nearly one year, but also till before I started to record, I had to prepare a lot of things and also, say, prepare uh, um, things into the back of my mind, you know, and also write some lyrics and so on and so on. So, say, all in all, uh, nearly two years. Every Enigma record is, is the result of how I feel in this period of my life when I do it. So, so I was in this mood and that's what I like at the moment, say, for Enigma. So, I can't tell you, that there's, Okay, I have a concept, but it's, it's not written, not, not clear, it's in the back of my mind, because God save, it's more or less a one-man band project, so that I don't have to, to explain everything to other people. But um, I just started to work, and like always, and playing around, and little by little, then you get closer, every day you get closer, closer, closer to, to uh, what you, you intended to do, finally. And, um, and for example, I, I changed about a third of the album the last three weeks of the production because till then I said no it's not it's not uh, it's not what I want to have and and it was extremely rapid in three weeks we changed a lot of things they're very important songs for for the album like Voyageur for example it came at the end the intro from east to west page of cups these are everything are new new songs which were done really in the last three weeks of the production after struggling with some other songs I don't know how many months but I wasn't happy with them and then for sure, it's not an easy job if, uh, if say, um, on one side I'm the producer and on the other side I have to be the innocent artist who, who, who try to give his best. But uh, I'm used to this situation because I always worked like this. So I always had on one, my, on, on one side I had to push me up and say, you are good, do it, do it. And then to say, boing, no, it's not good enough, you have to do it again. So uh, uh, all my life I was doing, I'm, I'm, I'm producing like this because even if it's not any of the other production, I always was very involved as an instrumentalist and arranger and so on. So even in other productions, I have, uh, my part is about 70%. So I have to, to deal with this situation daily. So after so many years I'm doing professional music, I, I got used to it and it worked pretty fine because I know myself pretty good as a client and I know how to motivate or how to criticize myself. I like her voice very much and uh, it's, it's very difficult say, to find a voice which fits to Enigma music. I can't tell you why, but I really have big... I didn't have difficulties because it was always uh, soluble. But it's very hard to find something, somebody who really fits into this kind of instrumental vocal music where, where voices are instruments, instruments are voices and so on and so on. And, and for me, I always said when Ruth then starts to sing, I have the impression she's not touching the earth, she's floating about 20 centimeters over the earth. So, and that's what I need, you know. For, for me, she's, she's also like, like uh, say, like following the sun, the, the last song. She's not singing for me like a human being. I keep the voice extremely natural because she sings for me like from heaven, you know. It's like, like uh, uh, yeah, like a, I don't know, like, like, a, like, a, like a figure of, of a fairy tale or something. So, um, beautiful voice and beautiful uh, qualities. I like her voice very much. 
No, I don't, I don't feel the pressure in the common sense of feeling pressure because uh, I don't have the pressure from my record company or something. We reach so much with this project, I mean, it's unbelievable. So, uh, uh, but the pressure is what I, I make pressure on myself because I want to be good and I want to I wanna, I wanna, uh, still be on this level. And it's hard after 13 years and five albums and something which every, everybody's expecting that you invent the wheel again every time, you know, and it's not <laughs> really so easy. So um, basically it's not, it's not pressure. It's only the ambition to make a good record. What I like in 40 years and not that I sit there and I say, you idiot, what did you, what, what have you done for, for bullshit, I don't know, 20 years ago. This I want to avoid. This is the only thing I want to avoid. So it doesn't, okay, if it sells, it sells. If you don't sell, it's okay, you can't, you can't do anything against it. But at least I want to be proud on my work and say I did it fine. That depends also on the kind of music and I would say, okay, this album not so much because this album also you can listen to it like, like background music, but mostly say the, the Enigma music, if you want to really get the most out of the emotions and the, of, of the atmospheres of the music, you should sit down, put your CD on, close your eyes and listen to the whole album. And this automatically brings you in an atmosphere like a night music. Uh, if I would produce maybe um, a normal pop song, uh, this can be produced also by daylight. Okay, I worked also during daylight, but uh, after the night was gone and I was uh, w still working, you know, <laughs> after the sunlight came up. But uh, no, I, 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 I always was somebody who, who loves the night. For me, it's, there's nothing uh, with care or fear and other things to do. I love the atmosphere in the night and it's quiet, it's peaceful, and I can't concentrate better. That's the only reason. People are different. There are some who love to be on stage, they love to give autographs, they love to be loved by other people, and so on and so on. Uh, I'm not belonging to this category. I'm different. Um, say, the sales of my records, that's a recognition for my work, and I want to sell music and not my face. I'm not an actor, so I'm a musician. And uh, um, my intention was at the beginning, because it was very idealistic, I, I said 13 years ago, I want to see if nowadays only music can sell without any packaging around it. And it was possible, funny-wise. So, because um, nobody believed it that it's possible, but it was possible. So the music went its way. And uh, for, for somebody who loves music and who's a musician, it's beautiful. Because imagine that, that, that they know that I sell records only because I have blonde hair or gray hair or dark hair, I don't know what. Mm, I wouldn't be happy. The secret must be inside of me. I must have a lucky hand so to, to, to transform some, some emotional needs or, or I don't know what, what, what humanity has. Because yeah, it's, uh, it's not according to skin color or to, to religion or culture. And uh, it seems that I can translate these emotions pretty good and put them in music. And you see, it's an international language. Because if you, if you are a Buddhist or, or, or Christian, or if you are black, if you are white, if you are don't know what, uh, everybody liked it and everybody is buying it and since 13 years. So it must be, say, my signature, which, which, which seems that I have something, I have a good translator in myself, you know, <laughs> inside of me. Uh, that's the only explanation I have. I don't, I don't have another one, but I'm even not, not thinking too much about it. I do music, and if the people like it, good. If they don't like it, what shall I do? I would say yes, because look, I'm, I'm, I'm living a side, um, a side of all the, 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 the whole stress and, and, and uh, a side of all tourism and clubs. And that's what I need for, for for my brain to, to be able to, to make good music. It's important for me and I like it very much. That's why I'm, I'm somebody who's really, my home is my castle, so, so I'm like a bear, you know. I have one, one hole and there's where I live and uh, I don't need to have, I don't know, houses and apartments all over the world. I try to make one central station good and, and I feel very well and you see it. it, it everybody's different, so I'm like this and uh, it's funny because I live here with some, some, and everybody thinks that I'm every night going somewhere into clubs or I don't know what. I think the last time I went to a club, it's uh, five or six years ago. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit different. What shall I do? 
I have, because look, I'm not only artist, I'm also a producer, and the producer has to know exactly what's going on and, and uh, what's happening around the world. So I'm listening to music and I buy records uh, for my pleasure or only for information purposes, it depends, of, uh, of uh, the record. But uh, I try to go my way, but I'm not listening too much to other things because I don't want to be influenced by them. So uh, it was also one of my, my targets for the new Enigma album. I said, okay, and, and, and the result is for me, it's, it's a very trendy album because it fits very good to the emotional, social situation uh, of our world nowadays. But it's done without using any cliche or any kind of patterns or sounds which are trendy and successful today. Because you know how if I take this or that or that, I have good cards, yeah? No, I, I avoided all these things. I do it on my way and I break my neck or I win, one or both, like always. I don't think that discipline is only important for me. I think discipline is important for everybody who wanna be successful and you don't have to forget that, okay, the old, the old uh, slogans is hard to, to, to reach the top, but, but it's harder to, to stay on top. So it's, uh, it's impossible without discipline and it was a, very famous uh, classic composer who said once, to, to be a genius it's 90% transpiration and 10% inspiration. So, um, and it's the truth, it's the truth. Uh, okay, you need this lucky moment, maybe the 30 seconds where you have a, a, a very good idea, but to make it, to make it vis visible or hearable or whatever, it, it, it takes time. So, and, and especially in my situation where I have to be the disciplinated one, the producer, I have to be, I have to be the, 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 the chaotic one, say the artist, then everything. So discipline must be somewhere, because if not, it's uncontrollable, the whole thing. But I tell you, if it's music, if it's football, if it's a manager, I don't know, a company, I think everybody who's on top and who want to have success, it's a very, very, very hard job and, and, and uh, without discipline. But I tell you, I'm not somebody who wakes up every day at this time and ta-ta-ta-ta, not at all. I'm, I'm, I have a non-regular uh, uh, system of life, yes, but uh, uh, what's concerning the work, you need discipline. I can't imagine to, 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 to manage it without. For sure, it's, it's, it's complicated for, for Enigma purposes, because I tell you, to make Enigma music, I have to be isolated from the rest, and so that First, that I, that I uh, make it understandable for myself first what I want to do. Yes, because the mood has also first translated by myself to, and then I have to make it for the public uh, uh, reality. So, uh, it's a little bit hard, but, but basically um, my family has no problem at all because I, I have breakfast with my kids. Okay, I go to bed after breakfast, they go to school. When they come to school, I'm awake, they see me. So, so, so uh, uh, if I'm the father who's sleeping through the night and is working during the day, or the opposite, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's the same for them. Since they are born, I, every, everything, I, I never said you have to do this or that because I'm your father. I try to explain why. And, it, and try to, to, to make them understand that it makes sense like this and it, it's not my invention because it was my, my, my parents told it to me and their parents and so on and so on and there are rules which has to be kept and I have a brilliant relationship with them so because so, I'm not only th their father, I'm also like, like a friend which is very important and because um, they're really, uh, sometimes I, I've, I've I feel like being a priest, they come and confess to me things, so I don't know, little stupidities, what they did, but nobody saw them, so, so uh, that I can't punish them. Or, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm a very correct and uh, uh, somebody who, who, who hates injustice, and that's the only thing where, where I can go mad if they try to lie, but they never lie to me because I told them, if you start to lie, then you have very bad cards with me. All the other rest, okay, if you make something wrong, if you admit it, it's half, half uh, forgiven, you know. How good I am as a musician, we have the proofs, yeah. How good I am as a father, we will see it in 10 years. Sir. No, my God, I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Because a little bit look around you, I don't know if I would like to be part of every crowd which is running on the streets, I don't know. 
So I feel excellent with my situation. I, look, I'm, I'm, it's not that I live here isolated and I don't see anybody and, and uh, I'm not Howard Hughes or something like that, you know, <laughs> who hides somewhere in the dark. So, no, but, but I have only a few friends, really good friends, some people, and it's enough if I, if, say, if I have uh, c contact with 10, 12 people, I don't have to have hundreds around me. And uh, I can't complain at all. No, this situation is perfect. What shall I do if I'm, if I'm um, working on seven different fields? Um, being the engineer, being the arranger, the producer, the singer, the composer, instrumentalist, the keyboard player. So it's how it is, but um, that's not a problem at all for me. I tell you, I'm, I'm used to these this processes of working since I don't know, since I know myself, uh, since I know me, so um, um, it's not a problem at all for me. Same procedure, like <laughs> after every album, if I can still keep this level high, there will be an Enigma 6, but I never know it before. But it's my beloved baby, so I think um, there will be some more Enigma albums. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien. ¿Cómo va? Bien, todo bien. Una cerveza, por favor. ¿Una cerveza? Sí. Va. ¿Dónde está el jefe hoy? El jefe en San Antonio. Ah, en San Antonio. ¿Está tu papá o...? No, estás solo trabajando para él. No, no, no está tu padre, ¿no? No, no está ahora. Okay. Gracias. Venga. Das hier ist äh, einer meiner Lieblingsplätze, weil ich finde die Natur wunderschön und die <lacht> kleine Insel da unten, die ihr seht, man kann es von dieser Seite nicht erkennen, aber das ist praktisch so wie ein Triumphbogen gebaut, also man kann mit dem Boot durchfahren und an, so im Winter, wenn es ein bisschen klarer ist, die Luft, da kann man wunderschön das ganze Festland sehen, also da ungefähr ist Valencia und dahin Barcelona. Naja, und Da kann man schon verstehen, wenn man sich das anschaut, dass man sich ab und zu mal hinhockt und ein bisschen mal nachdenkt und nur in die Ferne schaut. Das ist ein sehr schöner Platz, finde ich. 